boots and yes. probably in the morning, Carson, maybe yes. a light jacket. It's just tricky. We're going to have to dress in layers. <laughs> yeah, you will. Uh, we will have some pretty cooler temperatures in the morning, but it will warm up throughout the day. So it's going to be one of those frustrated, frustratingly stubborn <laughs> yeah. weather days across East Texas. But for the Texas Rose Festival Parade tomorrow, 60s through 9 and 10 o'clock. So conditions overall for parade goers going to be excellent for them to be out and about 72 at 11 o'clock. So we're back to room temperature by 11. And yes, I would pack that jacket early tomorrow, but you probably won't need it by the end of the parade. All right, let's talk about something a little more serious from a weather standpoint. Burn bans, they are in effect for the majority of East Texas. So if you're watching me right now, chances are you are under a burn ban. And that is certainly true for Upshur, Smith, Henderson, Cass County, and pretty much every county further to the south and to the southeast. And here's the reason why. Monthly rainfall totals for Tyler, Longview, and Lufkin, we have not seen any rain reported. Now, some of you in South Tyler, I know about a week ago you saw a brief little shower. That doesn't really add up to much, and unfortunately, it really doesn't affect the drought. We need a widespread soaker of rain. It doesn't look like we're getting that anytime soon. As a matter of fact, we're only going to get drier and warmer over the next seven days. High temperatures forecasted to be in the mid to upper 80s for next week as we go from 84 on Monday all the way up to 89 by Wednesday. So it will be very warm. It's also going to to be dry thanks to this ridge of high pressure that we have anchored over to our east. We've got a trough to our west, which has triggered a few showers and thunderstorms and snow showers uh, over the Rockies. But for us, we're not going to be seeing any of that mild and dry on satellite and radar. A few clouds out in West Texas that will not affect our Friday night football plans. We will have some great games getting going. New Diana at Troop 730 tonight. Clear skies as that kicks out from Troop Tiger Stadium. Temperatures will be in the 60s. And then for your Friday football fever game of the week, we've got Van at Gilmer. This one kicks off at Jeff Trailer Stadium. At kickoff, we are at 70, and then we're down to 62 by the fourth quarter. So an excellent night for football across East Texas. 51 overnight tonight, mostly clear and cool. Tomorrow, we do top out around 80, lots of sunshine and very mild. And as we look at the next seven, we will be dry. High temperatures will be in the mid to upper 80s, all the way up to 89 degrees on Wednesday. It's getting a bit warmer at night with lows only in the lower 60s for Wednesday, Thursday and Friday morning. In deep East Texas, more of the same highs in the 80s over the next week, lows in the 50s and 60s. Common denominator will be how dry it is in deep East Texas as well as East Texas. Casey Isaac. All right, Carson. Thank you. Up next on live at